Hi guys, my name is Maciel. Most of you know me better as Fever Frappe. And a lot of you guys have asked me to make a tutorial showing you guys how to make your own fan ups. This will be a couple of videos, I'm not quite sure how many just yet, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make man ups on different programs like Photoshop and GIMP, you know, from high end to free, stuff like that. So I'm gonna start off with Photoshop because it's what I know and love. So to get started, you just open up the program. You go to a file new, and then you can name your tab. The dimensions I normally use is five inches by five inches. That's just what I do. From here, you would either import your photo or, but I already had mine saved, like I, you know, copied, so I just edit and pasted it. So what I'm doing now is labeling it because when you do a photo with a lot of layers, it's good to label it so you don't forget what's in each layer. And to resize it, you just go to edit, transform, and then scale and to make sure the picture doesn't go all weird and too like fat or too tall or whatever you, go, you hold down the shift key as you're moving it see how that happens you have to hold down the shift key to make sure it stays its original size so this is the picture I'm gonna be editing and for my just someone I had already looked for it so you just copy image and then edit paste and I like to paste it under the girl because she's the one that's gonna be up front so now I'm just gonna resize him and in order to make the girl visible again you just click the eye see how I did that she came back to make cutting her out easier I like to add a layer to add a layer it's at the bottom that little square you just add a layer and then you color it any color so that way there's like a background so you know where exactly to cut I just do some random color okay and now I start to cut around her I like to use the softer edge for hair because it makes the cutting less obvious. To make the eraser bigger and smaller, you just use the left and right brackets on your keyboard. Okay, so now that I've got her cut out, I just click the eye on my background layer, and now you can see both her and Justin. And here, there was a little white spot on the hair. Um, you could try to erase it like that, but you know, it didn't look real. I used the softer brush. It looks kind of odd, so I just decided to erase it completely. And once I've done that, I click back on the layer with the girl on it and I go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and Contrast. So now I'm just trying to make her as dark as Justin is. To make a uh, black and white, I just added a layer and then changed the mode to color. As you can see, Justin's picture is a lot blurrier than hers, so I added a little noise into that. I went to filter, add noise. And here I'm just adjusting, making her just a little bit darker. And then I went, to do that, I just went to image adjustments, hue and saturation. Q 
here. Um, I see the top of her head is a little bit lighter than the rest of her. So I'm just going to, you know, darken it up a little bit with the little hand symbol to the left. And so what I'm doing here is opening up my um, normal edit tab that I usually use. And on there I have saved a bunch of PSDs, which are kind of filters for your photos. So what I'm doing is trying to get one of my favorite filters and add it to the photo to just you know, make it look a little bit better. So by doing that, I grab the tab of the picture and I drag it to the side. I find the folder I want and I drag it to the picture. Here I'm also dragging a texture. And if I do that, I just drag the picture back up top. See, the, the filth made it look a little bit darker. And once you do that, just go File, Save As, um, give it a name. Make sure when you save it, you save it as a JPEG, not Photoshop, or then it won't be compatible with whatever you want to post it. And then File, Save, and then OK. And there's your photo. I hope this video helped you guys. Photoshop, you don't have to buy it. I know that there are download links for free. The only thing about that is you, you always have that chance of accidentally downloading a virus because it is a big file from the internet so just be cautious of that before you download it and i hope this wasn't too complicated for you guys if you guys have any more questions you can ask me on my instagram twitter kick ask fn my username is for all of those is bieber frappe um i love you guys and thank you for watching